I'm going to ask you to remove yourselves from the premises right now. You can't give me any answers? No. Please remove yourself from the premises. Right Sherry Cohen is president of Distribution International, a New York company advertising on TV what it calls the business opportunity of the 90s. How would you like to earn three to five thousand dollars a month with no work at all? All you have to do, according to this ad, is buy a credit card activated public fax machine. When you buy a fax unit from Distribution International, our experts will place your state of the art fax machine in the high traffic location of your choice, such as airports, hotels, and convention centers. The machines aren't cheap, at least fifty five hundred dollars, but the company's brochure claims you can recoup your initial investment within forty five days. And the way it was worked. It, uh, it sounds like a, a great investment. Moses Prather from San Jose, California, saw the ad and sent a check to Distribution International. So did Ed Berlin from San Francisco. They said they had been doing this in New York for three years and had a lot of machines here. Ed Berlin sent his money in six months ago, Moses Prather a year ago, yet neither of them has gotten a fax machine. All they get is a runaround from Distribution International. And when we began investigating this company, we discovered that theirs are only two among dozens of names of investors who put money in but got no fax machine. We obtained this list of investors from a former salesman, and of the 34 people we called, not one has gotten the fax machine as promised and some investors are out a lot of money. We have one consumer who's out almost $28,000 because she invested in more than one machine. And forget the Empire State Building address the company uses in its ads. We tracked them down and found Distribution International is actually a boiler room operation in a basement office in Forest Hills, Queens. We're here because we've gotten a lot of complaints from the Better Business Bureau about okay. uh, your offering of a fax machine. Excuse me. Could you um, explain to me what's going on here? No, I really, I really cannot. Um, Why is that? Why aren't people getting their fax machines fax after they pay Fax machines are being installed. Where have they been installed? Which convention centers? Which hotels? Which airports? Sherry Cohen could no. not give me even one example. Can't give me any answers? No. Please. Ms. Cohen promised she'd call me with the answers to my questions. That was three weeks ago. I'm still waiting, and so are the investors. I, I tended to trust people, and it didn't occur to me that somebody would just take my money and disappear. And so into our hall of shame, we induct Sherry Cohen of Distribution International, who seems to be the only one making the promised easy money. Shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. I'm going to ask you to remove yourselves from the premises right now. You can't give me any answers? No. Last winter, I first confronted Sherry Cohen, the president of a New York company called Distribution International, located in this Forest Hills boiler room. Cohen called herself a businesswoman, but clients called her a con artist. We're here because we've gotten a lot of complaints from the Better Business Bureau about uh, your offering of a fax machine. Excuse me. Could you um, explain to me what's going on here? No, I really, I really cannot. But today, as a direct result of our broadcast, Sherry Cohen faces felony charges and a possible prison sentence. The story began last February when we first exposed this TV commercial that was billed as the investment opportunity of the 90s. How would you like to earn three to five thousand dollars a month with no work at all? As the ad explained, all you had to do was buy a credit card activated public fax machine. When you buy a fax unit from Distribution International, our experts will play your state-of-the-art fax machine in the high traffic location of your choice. The company promised would-be investors they would recoup their $5,000 investment in 45 days. So businessmen like Moses Prather and Ed Berlin sent their checks in, but the fax machines they bought were never delivered, and at least 34 other investors we contacted never got their fax machines. At the time of our first report, no one was investigating Sherry Cohen, despite the apparent theft of hundreds of thousands of dollars. But right after our broadcast, we got a call from the Postal Inspection Service, and they immediately began investigating. In the meantime, Sherry Cohen had moved her boiler room operation just a few blocks away to another basement location in Forest Hills. 
she changed the company's name to Integrated Systems, Inc., and began advertising the same public fax scam, this time on TV in Las Vegas. But recently, the FBI raided the company and arrested Sherry Cohen on a felony complaint charging her with mail fraud, wire fraud, and conspiracy. The complaint gives credit to shame on you for first reporting on this scam. So Sherry Cohen, now awaiting trial, continues to hang in our hall of shame. Shame, shame, shame. If you've got a story idea for shame on you, please. Empty claims that promise to wipe away cellulite forever and an alleged half million dollar fax machine swindle. Two stories that you first heard about from our Shame on You team. Tonight, Arnold Diaz has a Shame on You follow up as the law takes action. Shame, 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 shame on you! I'm going to ask you to remove yourselves from the premises right now. You can't give me any answers? No. A year and a half ago, Sherry Cohen was chasing me out of her Forest Hills office. Now we've learned she's just been indicted by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Authorities were first alerted to her scam by our report. How would you like to earn three to $5,000 a month with no work at all? In nationwide advertisements, Cohen's company, Distribution International, enticed investors into paying $5,000 for public fax machines. She guaranteed the fax machines would be placed in convention centers, hotels, and airports, and investors would make a fortune. But it was a scam. There were no fax machines, just empty promises. Why aren't people getting their fax machines after fax they pay Fax machines you money? are being installed. The indictment by the U.S. attorney against Sherry Cohen and two others alleges that 80 people nationwide invested over $575,000 in the phantom fax machines. Cohen is charged with conspiracy and 53 counts of wire fraud. The Securities and Exchange Commission also just filed an action against Sherry Cohen trying to recover some of that half million plus that she took in. Though a source at the SEC says they believe she's already spent most of the money. Shame! Shame on you! And another shame on you target is now paying the price for...